I first came to the American Dance Festival in 1948. It was at Connecticut College. And it was quite uh, a season. And it, was, it still had some of the, you know, people that started the whole field there. Martha Graham was there, and Doris Humphrey was there, and Jose Limon was there, and all the people that were around them were there. So it was, uh, and new works were being done, which have become classic works now. So it was uh, a very exciting time to be there, and I was a very young fellow. <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't have loved it more. I haven't been there for quite a few years now, but I used to come every year. And, you know, I've done many works which are now classics that were done at ADF. Works like Games, Rainbow Around My Shoulder, District Storyville, all of them were performed at ADF. I, I remember very clearly my very first real solo in 1948, and I spoke as I danced. And, you know, I was very new to all of this. I didn't realize that that was unusual. And Mark Hill wanted to talk to me about my direction. And Doris Humphrey came to me with all these recordings, uh, vinyl discs of uh, Impressionist music. And I kept saying, I must be doing something that's important. Why would they be talking to me? <laughs> Instead of changing what I wanted to do, it just reinforced that I'm doing something that has caught their attention. So it was, it was an exciting time, time of growth, time of learning, time of companionship and fellowship with other colleagues. So I was just surrounded by art and I was living la, la vie bohème. <laughs>